Yo, right, guys, this is Game Blue Luke here, uh, and you may be wondering where is my UCL battle? And where is Luke's UCL battle? Where is the Bristol City Blazerkins UCL battle? Well, due to unforeseen circumstances, um, me and Leo uh, will not be battling this week. Uh, and because of said circumstances, I have been given and awarded the win for this week's UCL battle. Um, which isn't a win I wanted to take by any means. I was going to say likes and then say one and then fuse the two. Uh, I actually built a team uh, for Leo, of course. Uh, and I was really, really, really excited to use it because, um, I don't know, Leo's team is really, really bulky. Um, and I was really, really scared to play Leo this week. But um, due to these unforeseen circumstances, I have been, by default, given the win this week. Which is a good thing, but at the same time, I would have rather earned that win than, you know, just been given it for free. Because that kind of sucks, to be honest. But, you know, to make up for that, I'm going to go ahead uh, and show you my team uh, and show you what we did or what I prepared for. Um, so if I can remember my thought process, just so you know, I you know I, I did build for this and I did prepare for this, but due to like I said, due to these unforeseen circumstances, I did um, happen to just win the match by default because um, because things happen, you know, things happen and things get in the way in life, and I totally understand um, why Leo hasn't had the chance to battle me, and it's absolutely fine, um, but um, you know, it's 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 a pain in the ass. Be honest with you but let me show you let me go ahead and show you my team anyways so as you can see i have my team right here and i want you to know i must have changed this team like three or four different times after getting opinions from different people and stuff um and honestly i'm not sure because it's been a, it's been a i mean i've had a work all day and i've been quite busy on friday so honestly i'm not too sure if i remember everything on every little detail of why i brought each pokemon but i'm going to get into it anyways um we had brofist right here rocking the jolly nature with fake out knockoff double hit and u-turn with the Silk Scarf, of course. Now, I only brought this Pokemon because I know for a fact that um, Ambipom... I'm going to open up Word so I can actually see his team. So if I get his team up, then I can give you a reason to why I did specific things and why I chose things. Because it will hopefully bring it back to memory. So I have um, a Brofist here. Now, Brofist does like a clean 60% to a Thunderous Eye. And I knew that he'd bring it and he would end up like Thunder Waving my whole team. Uh, and being, this, I mean, this, considering the Pokemon I have on my team that are pretty quick, like Azelf and um, Ambipom, I'd need that speed. So I brought the Ambipom because it has Fake Out and it has that priority just in case it does get paralyzed. And it does like a whopping 60% to a Thunderous. So I had to bring it. Uh, another thing I had to get rid of uh, or get past as well was the Azumarill because obviously Aqua Jet Belly Drum is a thing. If the, if, uh, the Ambipom can come in Fake Out, run away, then come back and Fake Out again, that would be hella useful. Um, he has Double Hit. Purely for stab, that does so much damage. With Silk Scarf, uh, also it does incredible damage to pretty much everything on his team. There's nothing that resists it. Um, if I remember correctly, yeah, there's nothing that resists it, so it, it was going to hit anything. <coughs> excuse me, really, really hard. Knock off and U-turn were pretty much for coverage, and I have U-turn. I also have Volt Turn. Well, this is actually meant to be right here. So I basically have the Volt Turn set up because we have Volt Switch on Thunder Asterion, and I can basically you know U-turn Volt Switch between the two of them if I thought his um, his um, if he was going to switch in, if he was going to use Thunder Wave with over with his Thunderous, I could switch into my Thunderous manually uh, and take the, um, the, the the Thunder Wave Volt Absorb. And if he had something else, I could U-turn into say I don't know. He's going to bring out the I'm trying to think now. Maybe Gligger was a thing. He got the Gligger out. I could switch out into Overcast using that and then HP Ice it or whatever. And then um, he has Choice Scarf. Then if I needed a Volt Turn, I mean the Volt Switch hits the Azumarill pretty hard. I don't think an, a, a, a Choice Band and Aqua Jet kills this thing, and a Volt Switch would do incredible damage. I could switch out into um, Brofist and then just fake out anything, basically. Volt Turn, Volt Switch to U-Turn is pretty much, is, is basically what I was getting at. Um, the Overcast also deals with the Charizard as well before it Mega Evolves. Um, and I pretty much pumped this Pokemon full of moves. I need to take down specific Pokemon. I had to put HP Ice on it because of Gligar. And I put Focus Blast on there to deal with the Miltank and Taurus, although I don't think it would have killed. Uh, it would have been nice to have there for coverage. And Dark Pulse is to try and deal with the Cressalia. Um, we then have Azelf over here, which I think was actually going to be Dragonite. I was going to bring Dragonite to this match, but I thought, you know what? I really need those, really need, really, really need those Stealth Wings because threats like Charizard, threats like Thunderous are on his team. And purely, though, those two are the only Pokemon that are super effective. Get the super effective um, Stealth Rocks. But in all honesty, 
I need that because if the Charizard was to come in, it was that's, that's half its HP gone already. And I know Charizard gets Roost, but Stealth Rocks would be such a, a hindrance to him, and I had to had to put it on the team. Ice Punch is there for Gligar. Uh, it also affects the Thunderous also, and it also deals with the Rotom M. I also have U-Turn on this thing as well, because if you have three Pokemon that can U-Turn Volt Switch, you can just, like, interchange these Pokemon incredibly, which is crazy. Rocking the Focus Sash, because I think it was potentially my lead Azel, so I could get these Stealth Rocks up and stuff. Um, and we then have Real Steel. Now, I was going to run this in Impish Nature, but I decided to go with the defensive, no, the offensive, the uh, adamant one, and I speed creeped. I speed creeped the Cresselia, so I would outspeed it and able to bug bite it. I wanted to make sure that I would be I would be faster, so I could do a clean 50% to the Cresselia. Because if I can well, if I can wean it down with Stealth Rocks damage and maybe catch it on the on the, on the switch with other Pokemon, a uh, Bug Bite does about 50%, and that's a bold Cresselia, um, which is what I need. Or I can knock off then Bolt, then Bug Bite it or whatever. And if I can catch it on the switch, for example, if I Bug Bited it and then, or yeah, I, I caught on the switch, if I knocked knock, knocked it off first and then Bug Bited it, that would be. Um, you know the best because I'd probably be able to take it out from there. Um, and then the Skype thing pops up. But, um. Yeah, excuse me. <clears throat> so we have that. He has Bruce for recovery and stuff. Bullet Punch was also for the priority because, you know, Thunderous Eye isn't crazy defensive, so it'd be nice to have like, the Bullet Punch be able to take him down. Um, and the Bullet Punch also for Azumarill because that's neutral damage now. Uh, but yeah, Bullet Punch is just great. The stab, it does it does what it needs to do, and it, it's, it's good for the priorities and stuff. We then have let it rip. Now I'm running toxic on this thing just because just for last ditch effort. Like if I need to put toxic poison or something and there's no use for him on top anymore, then it can come in potentially toxic the Cresselia, toxic the something. I don't know Rotom M if I need to toxic the Tauros and Miltank because they're very very bulky as well. It was kind of just there as a filler move because I didn't really feel like I needed something else. Earthquake takes care of Charizard X. Um, which is uh, a thing because this is a very, very popular switch into Charizard X, so it has Intimidate. Um, Earthquake also takes care of Drapion. Uh, and then we have Close Combat just for the stabs and the Ace, the Mill Tank, and Tauros right there as well. Um, I, needed the, I needed the Intimidate, in all honesty, just in case this Charizard did get a little bit too crazy. Intimidating it once would at least, you know, reduce the damage it could do to my team. And then, I really wanted to show this off. I have a Choice Specs Rosarade, which is the first time I've ever used it, or was going to use it. And this thing does so much damage, it's modest nature, it's modest nature choice specs. Now, if I could catch Cresselia on the switch, because I would I would obviously predict Leo to think that this is Assault Vested or Choice Scarfed or something like that, but Choice Specs Sludge Bomb, or Cho Choice Specs Sludge Sh Shadow Ball is 50% Cresselia. And I'm pretty sure I outspeed it, so I could have Shadow Balled it again and killed it. Um, Giga Drain is going to kill Gligar in one hit, going to kill the Azumarill in one hit, Sludge Bomb destroys Azumarill, uh, Sludge Bomb also destroys Thunderous. It just did. It just does so much damage. If I can catch him on the switch, I'm hitting something. I'm hitting it hard. It does 50% of Drapion, and it's resisted. So I mean, I really wanted to use this Rose Raid, and I'm really upset that I didn't get to showcase it. But hopefully, I can use it in a future battle. And I know we're battling Nappy next week, which is pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. He's he's been on crazy win streaks, and I'm super super scared uh, about battling him. And I'm sure he's scared about. I don't know. He says he's scared battle me because my draft is really really good, but I don't know. I don't even know, but I thought I would just give you this like, little mini breakdown video thing because I did want to make sure that you guys had some kind of upload explaining what happened. I didn't just leave you in the dark. We did win this week, um, which puts us at six for six. There's no way we're making playoffs. There's n it's not going to happen. We have how many weeks left? I think we have three or four. So at best we could be is it 16 weeks or 14 weeks. I think it's 16 weeks, right? So we're in week... I don't even know, but I know we can, I mean, if we win the next rest of our matches, we can at least be positive by the end of this season, which I would like, uh, and I'm sure you guys would like too. Um, but with that being said, I don't know if anything else I need to touch on, to be honest with you, I just want to make that video and make sure you guys knew what was going on, and I show you my team, just so you knew that I prepared for this. But, um, yeah, it's, it does suck that Leo can battle this week, <clears throat> and I hope everything is uh, is okay with you, Leo. Le leave, I'll leave his channel in the description below so you can go check him out. Go over there and subscribe. He's uh, going through some stuff right now, so I would really appreciate if you went over there and checked him out for me. But with that being said, I'm just going to end it right here. Uh, thank you all so much. Thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully next week we'll be battling Nappy, and we'll see how that goes. Who are you voting for? Leave your answer in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>